Well, we saw some rain earlier this afternoon. Most of the rain was concentrated in the southern half of the Red River Valley heading into Lakes Country, and that's indicated by some of the uh, dark green colors. Some areas saw over half an inch of rain from some of the stronger showers, but those showers have long since gone. As the weather cam shows in Fargo, we're seeing quiet conditions, clear skies. We have a some breezy winds, scattered showers expected for tomorrow, though. More fall-like temperatures over the next couple days, but next week we will warm up, finally seeing more summer-like temperatures. So what's going on? Currently seeing some 50s out in Devil's Lake, 59 in Devil's Lake, 57 in Hollock versus 57 in Roseau. The southern half of our region is slightly warmer, being in the low 60s, it's like 63 in Detroit Lakes. That's because a cooler air mass is flowing in from the northwest, associated with this low pressure system out in Canada. The back end of that low you can see right here it's going to slide right in tomorrow bring some rain showers and because of how strong the low pressure system is we will see some strong wind gusts as we head into uh, tomorrow afternoon and evening so let's time that out here. A couple of isolated showers possible but I think it'll just be a few sprinkles and that's it. Otherwise, our region is going to be mostly clear and dry. Just a few clouds and that's it. By around 8 o'clock, though, we'll start seeing the back end of that low beginning to move into the northern half of the Devil's Lake Basin in Northern Lakes Country. So by around 8 o'clock, Langdon may start seeing a few showers pushing through. More scattered showers moving into the northern half of the Red River Valley into Lakes Country during the afternoon and evening hours. So by around 2 o'clock, we're starting to see some of those scattered showers making their way into portions of Lakes Country. Meanwhile, eastern North Dakota will be mostly dry with just an isolated shower during that time. More scattered showers possible in eastern North Dakota overnight into Friday morning, but it looks like Lakes Country will take a break from the rain um, by Thursday night. So what about the winds? Well, the winds start picking up in Langdon around 6 a.m. in the morning, and you can see this orange representing gusts in the 30 plus mile per hour range spreading into the rest of Lakes Country during the afternoon hours making the way east. Uh, but by around Thursday night, the wind gusts finally settle down. We end up taking a break from the winds. On the bright side, after tomorrow, temperatures will finally start climbing back up. We'll get into the uh, upper 70s by Sunday, staying in the upper 70s for Monday, Tuesday. It won't be until Wednesday that we end up getting into the 80 degree range. By mid-August, we're back in the mid 80s, around average for this time of year. We had a taste of fall there, but summer's not done yet. Yeah, it's, uh, I certainly just, hopefully, fall will be just like this. <laughs> hopefully. After the break, the incredible story of a South Dakota woman